So in order for us to choose a random value for our target, we need a line of code like target x equals mat random and this will be a value between 0 and 1. We saw that it's not very useful and need to change it somehow. One way to get totally different numbers will be, for example, to add something to mat random result. And uh, now we will be able to get numbers as big as 201, which sounds great, except that those number will be from 200 to 201. Those numbers will be in the interval from 200 to 201. So they will not be pretty different if we see all our, all our targets on such a X. All of them will be seemingly on the exactly same spot and their difference will be up to one pixel. So there is a different formula that I want you to think about which will really get different numbers. Such a formula needs multiplying so I'm pressing shift and 8 and now mat random will again result in numbers from 0 to 1 but when I multiply such a number to 200 I can get results as big as 200 this will be possible if mat random chooses a number really close to 1 like 0 0.999 and I can also get small numbers if mat random is something really close to 0 even when I multiply it by 200 it will again be something close to 0 so with such a multiplying I can get really different numbers it's not a good idea to multiply by 200 because our playing field is much bigger. I can multiply by 800, which will also appear to not be so good idea. Try it, test it, and think of, a, of the best number to multiply. Also think what we can do if we need numbers that are in bigger interval, but not starting from zero. For example, if we want numbers from 1000, 1000 to 2000, how to write such a formula? If we just change this to 2000, we will also get small numbers like 500. So perhaps there is another formula to choose random numbers in bigger interval from interval 1000 to 1000 So you already have two tasks, which is the biggest target X that is useful for a position for our target. Choose a random number between, between 1000 and 2000. This will be interesting because at this moment we only know how to choose numbers from zero to some specific maximum. So you will need to change this formula a little bit 
And finally, our third task is think of a way to know whether the player has hit our target. Those are the those are the three tasks that I want you to do now. Good luck.